Hi everyone, Scott here with another Aperture experience for you. So if you've read any of my blog, you've seen that my workflow has changed over the uh, years from a Mac Pro to a MacBook. And uh, because I started on the Mac Pro, I had dual monitors, I was never a big user of full screen mode. Uh, I had plenty of real estate on the screen with two monitors. As I switched my workflow to be more mobile, I started playing around with the full screen mode um, on the MacBook Pro, which is what I'm on here as I record this. And the only time I find it really useful is when I was working on adjustments. It's nice to have a decluttered screen, um, but I had to switch back and forth. Certain things just weren't working very well in full screen mode, you know, applying keywords um, or working with the metadata presets, all those types of things. Um, so I was looking for ways to declutter the interface uh, without having to move to full screen mode. And I found several settings, most of them are just a keystroke away, that really let you focus only on the image when you're doing your adjustments, yet I don't have to move back and forth between full screen mode. I thought I'd walk through those real quickly so you can see what the before and after uh, visual of this looks like. So what we've got here is largely what a default uh, UI would look when you just you know, fire up Aperture and haven't made any changes. And you've got the, the toolbar, you have the HUD on the left hand side. Um, some things that might be slightly different is I'm showing the metadata beneath the photo and I've got uh, my keyword shortcuts here at the bottom. So with a um, few clicks uh, we can really clean things up. Um, while this particular view is very useful, I'll look kind of work like this when I'm operating on doing my keywords or doing rating, making sure I'm applying my metadata correctly. Um, I'll you know toggle through the view modes. I'm pressing the uh, the V key right now you know, to move through the different views. Um, but when you get into adjustments, you really want to have that extra real estate. So let's walk through a handful of toggles that we can do that will really tidy up this UI. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is actually not in Aperture, but in you know, the Mac OS itself. In System Preferences, pulling up the dock, and turning on this Automatically Hide and Show the Dock. Um, on my Mac Pro, I don't do this, but on the MacBook, this is great. I mean, I'm getting, you know, a good 5 to 10% of this real estate back here that I can use. If I quickly maximize now my Aperture window, I've gotten that back. I can always get the dock by just holding my mouse down at the bottom, it'll pop back up. But, you know, this is fantastic. I'm already starting to look even closer to full screen mode. The other one-time setting I will do is in the toolbar, if I right-click, I'll select icon only. Shrinks it down a little bit. I can always know what these things are by just hovering over one of the uh, individual icons, and it saves me a little more real estate. One thing I do notice is as I play with these, oftentimes I'll still have to pop the maximize again, you know, that little bit of real estate that came away. And when I get to the finished settings, if I've done that once, it seems to stick. So hopefully the uh, same experience will be for you. Now what about the rest of these things? We've got the metadata here. Metadata we can toggle on and off with the Y key. So Y turns it off, Y puts it back on again. So again with that off, I'm getting a little more real estate. With the keyword shortcuts, the D key, D for delta, remove those. And finally, the inspector itself, we can use the I key. Now, so now, with those things, I've really gotten a lot of real estate. And this is about how I normally work when I'm doing adjustments. There's one last tweak we can do with the toolbar itself. I'm doing Shift-T to toggle the toolbar off. Again, I will maximize to get that full amount of the real estate here at the bottom. Um, and this is you know, truly about as much space as I can get on the screen without going to full screen mode. But it's pretty decent. So when I'm working on doing adjustments, you know, I'll usually have my inspector pane up. I'll pick an adjustment. Let's just say sharpen. I've shortcutted key that to S. And I have my tool here now. I can press I again, remove that inspector. And you know, now I've got a really nice clean interface. I can apply the sharpen wherever I might need to apply it. And when I'm done, press the A key move on to my next adjustment. Maybe I wanted to do a crop. I'll press C this time. Now I get the crop tool. I can do some cropping, whatever I might want to do. Press A. I've noticed that for certain adjustments it will pop the HUD up. For others it doesn't. Like we saw crop, 
press C, it's fine, remove it. Now, sharpen, which I have a shortcut key for, seems to pop the HUD open. I don't know if that's because it's a quick brush or it's because I've assigned a shortcut key to it. Um, again, it's a bit of an annoyance, but I can press the I key to remove the HUD shortly after that that adjustment brick has come up. You know, so I'm, I'm tolerating that right now until I've debugged it further. Um, so that's that's you know this is this is the nice clean interface for working through adjustments. The rest of the time I tend to be in the mode like more like this. I for my inspector HUD, D for my keywords, Y to turn back on my metadata. And I'll be working like this. I've got uh, you know oh and sorry shift T for my toolbar. I'll usually look like this and I'll have you know usually working in the uh, this view here. If I'm only working for keywords and ratings, I'll look like this. I pressed I to turn off my inspector. So if I have you know 50 hundreds of photos in here, this this is cleaner. I can apply my keywords. I can do ratings, um, setting metadata. I can pop over to places, do my work there. Um, it's nice to have uh, these here to for me primarily popping between the browser and places. Um, and then uh, for uh, double checking things like uh, metadata presets. You know, I'll be in a mode kind of like this. I've got you know access to my metadata and any of my particular presets I may have assigned. If you've watched my previous videos, you'll see how I use those. So again, the uh, quick review: Shift T, remove the toolbar; I, remove the inspector; D, remove your keywords pane. And uh, that's the crux of it all. Oh, um, if you're looking at a photo, why to remove the metadata? Uh, there's probably a cool acronym in there somewhere. If someone wants to come up with one, leave a comment for all those different keys. And I hope you found this useful. See you again next time. Mm -hmm.